tired and then my mom said hey gum gum did you know that you go into the national level and then i yay but then my coach tell me hey you come back here swim come back yeah <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to STI's Junior High's podcast. Today, joining us is a very special guest who won the Science Olympiads. Please welcome us, Gum Gum. Hello Gum Gum, how do you feel? Oh, I feel very happy. How about you? I'm actually feeling very happy. Now, I heard that you won, won the Olympiads. Yes. How do you feel winning? I feel shocked and happy both of them at the same time wow uh but actually did you expect to win i mean there's a lot of uh contestants there like there w there would be like a lot of challenges that you had to face did you felt worried that you wouldn't win or did you actually have the confidence i felt actually worried because i failed so much in the multiple choices but thank god I was very good in the experiment. I thought I will get an honorable mention, but thank God again, I got the bronze medal. Wow, the bronze medal, that's actually really great. I mean, I've done a few contests before, but I haven't gotten any medals. So, uh, actually, I want to ask you a few questions. Is that okay? Oh, sure. All right. Let's start. Um, what actually inspired you to join the Olympiads? I mean, it's a really big, uh, it's a really big contest, especially Olympiads. Um, what inspired you actually? The one that inspired me is my interest in science. I've been interested in science for um, like I was five years old. Yeah. Oh, science has been your dream, like a yeah. uh, dream of yours since you were little, or was it like just now that you found out you liked it? I've that? been interested to science since I was four years old yeah wow four oh wow um, actually I've been interested in art for a long time now just like you I've been interested in art since like four or three years old um, it's, yeah uh, also how did you prepare for the Olympiads there is a lot of contestants and a lot of challenges that you had to face especially competition how did you prepare well, the fr well it's actually very simple I just yeah, read books about pastoral questions. Yeah. Oh, re only reading books. No, uh, did your parents like help you with like probably uh, like uh, question cards or like anything to prepare you? Well, just by finding questions from the internet, and then if I'm very confused because oh my, the questions were not that normal. So. Good thing my parents are a physics teachers and lecturers. Oh, your parents are both physics teachers and lecturers? Uh, yes. Oh, I think uh, because they're teachers and lecturers, you wouldn't need like any like extra help from like school or anything, right? Yes, no. Even though I use some ex schools. Oh. Just for questions. I just want the questions. Oh, all right. Well, um, actually. Uh, since the Olympiads, you would have to like prepare your project and all of that. What resources or like materials helped you most during the Olympiads? I actually don't need materials because in the experiment test, yeah, they give it, give the materials and give instructions. We just need to do it in the experiment test, and I can bring it home. Oh, so you can all the in, in materials home, and for the resources, yeah. I just need some books, like four books, questions, theories, and others. Oh, yeah. so you could bring the 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 project that you made home? Mm, I can bring the ingredients, like in the physics, I got some wires, they asked oh. me to do some wires, and I can bring home the wires. So Gum Gum, you're in fifth grade, and you're gonna go to sixth grade and then graduate, right? So what are your plans after you graduate? My aim is to continue junior high school here at STI because I feel STI will be the best place for me to continue to develop academically, spiritually, and mentally. The learning environment in STI is awesome. 
classes are always engaging, interest and interesting. And everyone speaks English and there are lots of exciting programs like Cambridge English courses, STI club, STI performances and like many more. With STI's plan for learning by digitalization and technology, I am even more compelled to continue my studies at STI because SCI will be one of the first schools to implement digitalization learning, which is the future I am super excited to learn about. More about the use of artificial intelligence and coding in our studies. Wow. Um, also, can you describe your feelings in the final rounds? Um, actually, since like in the final rounds, you must have felt very surprised that you made it and you must have felt very proud of yourself. Well, not really because when my mom told me, one to told me that I lost, I mean I joined and go to the final national level, I was on a swimming course so I oh. was like swimming 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 and I was like very tired and then my mom said hey gum gum did you know that you go into the national level and then I yay but then my coach tell me hey you come back here swim come back yeah oh so you were doing you were doing it during a swim course so yeah. technically we're kind of tired but at the same time excited yeah oh uh, that's actually very like yeah, very, mm, you could say weird, yeah, because like you're tired, but at the same time you're happy that you won. Then I'm not tired again. <laughs> oh, actually we have some pictures that Ooh. your parents actually sent us during the competition. Now, can you tell us a few of these pictures? Oh, that's my picture when I was in the, like, there are games at the, at the, at, mm, yeah, that that's me in the at uh, Friday. There was like a science science fair in the hall, and then yeah. Oh. Uh, and okay. that was me after the competition multiple choice. Yeah. Can you tell me what this is? It's a ball that uses atmospheric pressure. So you just spin it, and when you don't, when it stop, it just keeps spinning. Yeah. Oh wow, that's actually that's actually really cool. Yeah. Was this picture taken while the ball was like spinning or was it like... It was when it was spinning. Oh wow, that's really cool. Um, also, the picture before this one, I saw a rocket bottle. Oh, like that. Yeah, what was this one about? It's just about pressure. And you know, like when you pump a bottle, it will the air pressure will like increase and then it will like charge up and then when you let it go the air pressure will get out and then boom, the rocket will fly oh so in this picture that that bottle could actually fly yeah i'm actually holding it and someone is pumping it yeah he's oh. very strong oh wow now uh in this picture can can you tell me uh, your friends that were in the picture before? Yeah, all this of them. This is Kakisha. He was grade 6 and he was from Chilagon. This is Zain and he's also from Chilagon. And this is my like roommate, uh, Laisal from Chilagon and Fatih from Chilagon. Yeah, a lot of per people come from Chilagon and doing this. I heard that Chilagon always win every year. And that is Yura from Pahua the school that talks Chinese and the last one I forgot his name yeah oh uh, I heard uh, so you told me that Lysol was your roommate so you you guys stayed in the hotel room together like yeah, all the actually, contestants he just stayed in the room because I cannot sleep with my parents so oh. I sleep in another hotel oh but the contestants in the competition do they all stay like in the hotel rooms yes oh wow Oh, uh, is that Mr. Hirlan with yes, you? Yes, after the multiple choices questions, yeah. Oh, wow. The, was Mr. Hirlan the one tutoring you during the competition? He gave me a lot of exercises during the Kabupaten one. Yeah, a lot of exercises. Oh, wow. Actually, you know, Mr. Hirlan still teaches me in uh, junior high. 
He teaches physics to me. Oh, physics. Yeah, he's very good at physics. I heard he's like electric, like. Oh. As, uh, oh, yeah. wow. He uh, knows a lot about electric things. Yeah, I know. Oh, wow. Uh, in this picture, you guys are wearing a uh, uh, blue headband. Coat. Oh, it was a Banten traditional clothes? Traditional Banten clothes, like from Badui. Oh, that's actually really cool. Yeah. And this was in the Aero Hotel. And this is me, because, well... Oh, what were you guys making? Well, the first SMP, the junior high school had the experiment first, so... Because... Kakisha, like Kakisha, has the experiment first. So, Kakisha has the experiment first, so like, yeah. And then my Lysel said, hey, my sister got these things because Kakisha is like Lysel's sister. And then, hey, I got these things from my sister. Let's try and use it. And oh. then RIP the hotel's battery remote. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Those are the batteries. Oh, uh, was this a video taken after the photo before? After mm, it's actually on Friday at the same day. Well, I the rocket thing and the atmospheric pressure oh. roll thing. Oh wow! So this was after the whole uh, rocket project. Yes. Oh, I see. This is when you got the bronze medal. Yeah. Oh wow! How and that phone, I forgot it in the hotel. The the one you were holding? Yeah, the phone thingy. Oh, did you eventually got it back? No. Oh, you didn't get it back? At least the medal was. Oh, <laughs> uh, at least you I, brought home the medal. Yeah. And the medal was very heavy. Oh, like, it was very. It was like heavy. It's like it like it. Yeah, it's kind of heavy. Oh. Oh wow. So actually, the the thing you were holding there, how well? How did you forget it? Did you like accidentally put it on your bed? And when you guys left, well, my mom said, "Hey, Gum Gum, if you win a medal, I you can stay until until Sunday." So I was very happy, and I can stay sleep at that from one night. And the foam I put it in the hotel, and. Because I'm very not focused. I forgot it. Yeah. Oh, were your parents okay with you leaving the foam in the hotel room? Of course. Oh. I still got the the money. Oh, so the foam didn't matter anyway. So yeah. even without the foam, you got the money? Yeah. Oh, okay. So technically, I would be okay also. Money's first. Yeah, money's first, definitely. Um, also, uh, what are your plans moving on? Uh, forward after the science olympiads any plans you want to pursue well in the next semester which will be 2025 i will i want to join the map because i cannot when you win a medal in the sn you cannot join the same oh again. Like you can't join the science olympiads again i like when i won a medal in the science i cannot join science again i need to join math yeah. Oh, so technically, if you can't join the science one again? Yeah. Oh. And also, uh, speaking about technology, well, uh, I believe that technology in later in the future will advance. Of course. And yeah, we heard that there's going to be AI everywhere and stuff like that. Um, how will you adapt to technology later in the future? Well, probably I start from now when my parents already give it. Gum Gum, do you want a phone? Because you got six, like you got six juta in your bank account. I got a, my own bank account. Wow. You don't want to buy a phone. I said, yeah, I'm not ready for it. Cause yeah, I think I'm not ready. I, I think I will adapt with the technology by just controlling my time. Oh wow! Oh, so technically you don't want to spend your money on the on a new phone, so you want to save. I want to get rich first. Technically, same. Honestly, I I I support on that. I support you a hundred percent on that. 
Um, also, what message you hope to convey about the importance of science, technology, especially in the future of your friends? Mm, I hope that they can pursue their dreams and maybe be good at science, even though I don't really hope that, but I, I think some of my friends will be good at science and some of it will be good at math and some of it will be good at other things. I hope that they can adapt with the technology and science, yeah. Oh, uh, actually, Gum Gum, thank you so much for coming to the podcast today. Uh, how do you feel? Ooh, I feel very excited because I first think, what, a podcast? I never know STI have a podcast before, but I found it, yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. We yeah. really uh, love, I really, personally, I really loved our time here today. So thank you so much for joining me. Oh, uh, and before we end the podcast, uh, what grade are you? Five. Grade five? Grade five. Oh, wow. Uh, and also, for, uh, since you're in fifth grade, you're almost in sixth grade, right? Of course. Uh, what plans are you going to have for junior high? I want to join the OS and Physica and Math. <laughs> oh, um, do you want to stay in SCI for junior high? Mm? I think yes, because I got a 100% discount. Oh, wow. So technically, it's like a 100% scholarship. Yes. Congrats. I, I'm really happy for you. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for coming on our podcast today. I really, I really enjoyed it personally. I very much enjoyed it because I really like talking about science and yeah. Thank you so much. I for also love speaking. Oh. Yeah. I am very, very famous in this school and in the OSN for speaking. Yeah. For like public speaking? Yes. Um, that makes two of us. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for joining in, my, in yes. the podcast today. I really enjoyed our time. And thank you all for watching. I hope you, you guys have a great day. And see you next time on the next podcast. Goodbye. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Gabba. Last week, I was very lucky to win bronze medal at the National Science Olympiad. Come forward to give Gong Gong his name. Thank you.